What's up folks, how we doing? Thanks for checking out the video. In this one, we're doing a little bit of maintenance on the 2018 New Camp Tab S. Um, on a previous trip, I blew my driver's side tire on the way down to Florida, out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, like many, I was one of those people that assumed, oh, it's okay, I'll use my Jeep jack, right? The factory jack that came with my Jeep Gladiator and equipment to uh, replace the tire if I ever need uh, to do that. Well, turns out the lug nuts on my Jeep are a completely different size than the lug nuts on a New Camp trailer. So um, I was stuck <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere, lower Alabama, on the way to Florida, and uh, I had to call for help. So uh, help arrived, hour and a half later, he came out and uh, quickly put on my spare. This is the spare that goes underneath the camper on the back side here. And it's had the spare on for about a month um, while I just get everything in order. But I'm about to go on a trip this weekend, so I need to knock this out now. So um, I've got a brand new tire on uh, the original wheel. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and take off the... Uh, spare tire put on the new tire and then we'll remount this to the back of the trailer now um, you're gonna need to plan for this if you have a new camp um, make sure that you have the tools that will allow you to remove these lug nuts right and uh, again whatever's in your car probably or truck probably isn't going to work so uh, my solution has been an affordable Craftsman socket set and I'm gonna tag this very same kit in the description of the video So um, if you're looking for something like this something that's affordable Something that you can use for your and keep inside your new camp tab, but also use for just about any RV or um, automotive um, Repairs uh, this is gonna be a great option for that now in this set you're gonna cover just about all of your bases but the ones that we're going to use today are the... All right, again, this is a quick look at what we're using to take these lug nuts off. This is a three-quarter inch socket. Socket extension. And then, of course, your wrench. Now, you can get a nicer, bigger wrench that's going to make it much easier to uh, get these lug nuts off. This one is about a 10 inch, but uh, you know, this is about as small as you wanna go. Anything any smaller, you're not gonna be able to get the leverage on to really pop those lug nuts, right? So use something about this big, 10 to 12 inches, the very minimum, or uh, invest in something that's a little nicer, a little beefier, that's gonna give you a lot more power. All right, we got everything loose. They were on there super tight. Okay, we are underneath the new camp tab and it is time to uh, go ahead and raise up the camper. So if you can see that rim right there, how it it's kind of L-shaped and curves in, that is the point that you wanna lift the camper at. So that is mounted to uh, where the axle assembly is at and is a uh, sturdy mount for um, raising up the camper with a lift. So that's where we want to put it. Now, my jack is kind of small. It's a small compact jack. So I'm gonna go ahead and use 
the new cam supports to just help give it some support and stability, right? As I'm finishing off this tire, I don't want this jack to fall or slip at all. So these supports are gonna be crucial and uh, helping me gain stability. All right, so it's just barely gonna fit underneath this fender flare. So I'm just gonna put the tire in, kind of roll it in as an angle. And uh, once I get it angled in there, I'll center it up and use my feet to lift it onto, onto the lug nuts. Just put your feet under it like that. side, go to the other side, and then just go around to get them on. And of course there is no gear on this axle, so the tire will pretty much spins freely. Um, so if you try to tighten these all the way down, Without letting the trailer back down, it's going to be really hard to do that because of because you've got nothing to you know to brace the force against, right? With this free axle. We'll go all the way around and get them seated nice and flush before we tighten. As you can see, that tire wants to spin. All right. Good to go. There's no wobble or anything, so that's what you want. You don't want to go down the road with that thing wobbling. Um, so next up, we're going to go ahead and let the camper down. Um, let it put pressure on this tire, and then once the tire's on the ground, we'll go ahead and tighten these lug nuts back up, and we'll be done. Okay. All right, last thing that we want to do, tighten these lug nuts down. We don't want this wheel coming off going down the road. So uh, we want to get these guys on there as snug as we possibly can. I think I remember you want to tighten each lug nut to about 100 pounds is where I saw in uh, it was a manual or a um, a blog or something like that. So let's go ahead and get these lug nuts tight. 
course, as you know, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So we're going right. All right, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, this one has been on changing the tire on a 2018 New Camp tab. I've had this one for about four years now. If you guys have any questions about this particular model tab or uh, any comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to uh, answer any questions or help out if I can. Thanks for checking out the video, y'all take care.